Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, no one's going to argue with the fact that Saratoga County is, is uh, prospering. But uh, that doesn't mean that. It doesn't have its challenges, its issues. And it's very important that the people in charge of economic development look forward and don't look backward. And prime example of people that look forward are my guests. Uh, first, Marty Vonings. So president of the Saratoga County Prosperity Partnership, a guest here many times. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate Very nice. It. And the reason for today's visit is that we got news that they had just uh, developed a new position, a board chair. This is Kevin Headley, who is the new board chair for Saratoga County Prosperity Partnership. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. You know, be careful what you ask for. You know that. Uh, yes, okay. I'm, I'm learning that quickly. It's as I sit here now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah Kevin, uh, uh, you know, you're, you've been here many times yes. before, but Kevin's still got that look in his face like, yes. what's he going to say? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. Well, what did he get himself into? Yeah, exactly. Cautiously right. optimistic. Yes, yeah, good. Uh, as well you should. Uh, interesting background there, Kev. Uh, in accounting, finance, uh, 25 years or so, right? Your own firm? Yes, I've had my own firm for 25 years and uh, 26 this summer. So we're a full-service CPA firm and financial planning firm as well. Good. People like me always need people like you. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, you've been a member of the board since inception, maybe 2014 or yes, so? Yes, yes. Yeah. Came on okay. just a few months after it started. So okay. I've been, been around for a while with this. Okay. Uh, not long thereafter, we you arrived him. on the scene. We hired Marty. Yeah. Then uh, you really haven't look back since, you know? No, we've been, the, the goal of an economic developer is to look forward. And, and the, the, we always have to be looking forward, being optimistic about what your community can do. Mm -hmm. And so there's always a lot of challenges, but you uh, work with those challenges and keep looking forward. So we've done a lot, quite quite a bit. Uh, and a lot of it is, is placing in, you know, putting the foundation for economic development. Yes, right. Uh, people say, what if you, you know, how come you haven't brought in a new company or some, you know, two and a half years, you have to build a foundation. You have to uh, go out and meet the customers, which are mm -hmm. literally all over the world, although we've done most of our work domestically. And so we continue to do that. Now, uh, so I would imagine that really kind of precipitated uh, creating this position with Kev, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it's been a position that's been here. I mean, the Jack Lawler, chairman. Yes, right, right, uh, right. Supervisor right, right, right. of uh, Waterford was chairman. And, uh, but that was public, uh, yeah, public he, he, versus private sector. I want right. to talk about yeah. that, yes. right? And so most economic development agencies in the country, I'd say 95 to 98% of them, work off this model, public-private partnership. You have public sector board members and private sector board members. Right. And uh, that way you have the continuity of both sectors working together uh, mm -hmm. to grow and, and make the community prosper. Mm -hmm. And so this having Kevin as board chairman is just an evolution of that process. For two years, we had a public sector board chairman. Right. For the next two years, we'll have a private sector board chairman. Kevin, what do you see as the benefit coming from the private sector? Well, great question. One of the things that we've found in the past is that everybody looks uh, through life, through their own lenses, their own experiences, yeah, their own their own needs, sure. and as we talk, you know, camera lens or whatever it is going to be. Uh, Jack Lawler, being a supervisor, has that lens, and what what do communities need specifically? I come, what does what do businesses need, and I can mm -hmm. speak a different language. I understand what they need and what they're after. So by sitting on this board, we can bring a little bit more of that to the forefront. We have an executive committee as well, which is three private sector members and one supervisor member. Yeah, got so it. we keep that partnership not only at the board level but the executive committee level, which is wonderful, mm -hmm. and just being led a little bit more about. Let's take a little bit more of a private sector role into this uh, mm -hmm. next uh, iteration of our of our board steps, I think that's important. Well, you know what? That really speaks to collaboration, right, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, you're right. Yeah, everybody brings value to a situation, but they also bring that, that lens, too. Mm. And it uh, so the idea of opening up the conversation to get more input and whatever. You know, one thing that you've mentioned to me a number of times, and I'd, I'd like to know how, the, how, how this plays to it, is that uh, when you go out there and you think about economic development, mm -hmm. right? Okay, the Amazons of the world or the Apples of the world look for world headquarters yeah. and whatever. Are you going to get them, by the way? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. well, You're working on it. Amazon. We'll make <laughs> yeah. 
It, but, uh, uh, but you look at different clusters is the word that, right. that you used. Yeah. Uh, explain that to me, and I want to know, Kevin, what you think about where do, you, where do you go if you have that collaboration between public and private sector, where do you go to look for growth? So clusters are basically what, is your, what are the sweet spots in your community from uh, an employment standpoint. So very recently with Global Foundries and, and down in Albany with the SUNY Poly, uh, semiconductor is one of our clusters. You have mm -hmm. to say that because it employs a lot of people in that sector. Uh, s distribution centers up in Exit 16, that would be another cluster. Mm -hmm. General manufacturing would be another cluster. So those mm -hmm. are clusters where you have a large preponderance of employment. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of economic development organizations will do is take a look at those clusters and say, okay, now we'll go out and attract other companies in the same cluster because we have that those employment yes. levels, we have that knowledge, we have the infrastructure and the suppliers that can meet the needs of other organizations. I say that's good, but also what does that mean for the future? Uh, can we project into the future and say, take one of those clusters, say semiconductor, and instead of just saying, okay, more semiconductor or more suppliers, what other industries or businesses that are related to semiconductor that are on uh, coming up in the next 5, 10, 15 years Mm -hmm. are the companies we ought to be looking at. And that's and that's one of the directions that we'll be heading with our next wave center, our next wave advisory council over the next year or two. Got you. Um, I want to spend just a second on next wave. A very, very uh, progressive idea there, that if you're a company thinking of moving into the area, that the Prosperity Partnership will provide those companies with space. You know, it's one thing if you can read about or watch a video about right. a region. It's another thing when you actually go to the restaurants, when you actually set up office and you set up shop. Right. Uh, the point that I was uh, wanted to ask you about, Kev, was the, um, you know, we talk about people move because companies for economic, strictly economic reasons, right? And as an accountant, I'm sure you know this world cold. But there's also the idea that when you come from the private sector, you're aware of the different amenities that the community might have to offer. Do they play into this? They definitely do, and that's actually one of the things that we've actually worked with, and we can talk about that further later on. But even helping UPH continue to grow and develop here in Saratoga Springs. Right. And it's very important that when you're bringing new businesses in here, they want to know their employers are going to be, be able to have a happy life and have good schools and, and have things that they can enjoy and, and recreation. We have a lot of that right here in Saratoga County. Mm -hmm. And even if we don't have it in the county, we have it within a very short drive. Yeah, we have beautiful right. hiking in the Adirondacks, yeah. and we have history, and we have have uh, the horses, we have so much that's right here in this county. It's extremely important to anybody coming in here, and it's part of our job is to continue to help and develop those things as well. Mm -hmm. In my private job, uh, as an accountant, as a financial planner, we talk about diversification. We have that diversification here. Yeah, good word. And, and we need to keep right. uh, fostering that diversification. So mm -hmm. as we look towards these clusters, we want to make sure that we're looking towards the future where they're going to be. Right. Uh, we don't want to be bringing in old industries and old technology that's going away. We want to be bringing in the current industries. But we want to make sure that we're keeping a diversified base as well. Right. So there are those challenges. And then we have such a successful county here to begin with, we can't sit back and rest. Mm -hmm. And we have to con continue to push forward. Well said. Mm -hmm. Really well said. <laughs> Done good. Yeah. <laughs> Been training him for a while. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Those Don't, lessons paid off. Yes. You, know, you know where you're going to cross the line, though, if he starts making you wear a bow tie. Okay, yeah, you're yeah. just going to have to do it. I can't do that. Do yeah. He gets, no, 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 gets no, the clip on. I would try. I couldn't <laughs> either. Uh, Kevin, pleasure to meet you. Congratulations thank, to thank you. you. Uh, what a nice addition. Yes. And, uh, you know, I think you can probably tell, I think I opened this with saying that, you know, you have, you've got to be able to look forward and that just attracting business is not, it's a piece of economic growth, but the whole sense of how you think about it and what it means for the community and what it means 10 years down the road is really what is true economic growth. So, yeah. congratulations. Great yeah. to see you thank as you. always. And I'll be looking forward to checking in with both of you guys. Thank Thanks you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How we're doing. All right. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.